Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'd like to do a quick tutorial about the, a recent bug that just appeared. Um, so I just, like an hour ago, I, I started, I wanted to do some recording. So I, um, I turned on the flight sim, booted everything up, went into VR mode, and I kept getting this flashing, this white flashing, this flickering. Um, and it's really frustrating. So basically, whenever you turn the VR on, it would flicker like every few seconds. And it was really obvious. You can see it on the screen now. I'm just playing that some footage I've got from his uh, footage from the forum. Uh, just, so my intention is to help spread the word. So thanks so much to Michael, Michael Opole 818 Thank you so much for getting a fix for this. Uh, it's brilliant. What he's done is basically it forces the update to version 26 of the Oculus app software. And he's managed to actually find a way to stop it from forcing the update and reverting back to 24 version 24, which is stable. So the idea is, is that my tutorial is going to help spread the word and see um, if it can help everyone who's got this problem. So on screen, you can see now see the, the forum post, uh, as the, the, the profile of, of Michael Opole 818. And basically, he, uh, he posted a fix for this problem. And I followed it through and it really worked. So I'm just going to go through it so it's easier for you guys to find it. And then just hopefully it'll, uh, it'll fix the problems. So it directs you to this VR performance guide, um, and that is here. So basically, he talks about how his settings are really good on Oculus Tray Tool. Similar to my idea, well, obviously, we're all using the Tray Tool, so it's just different settings from mine, but try it out, it might work. But then further down, it gives you a link to the Google Drive here, the document here, which is here, which I'll post in my description as well. So it takes you to the Google Drive. It's an Ocular app version 24 zip folder. You download it. Um, and basically, I'm just going to explain to you what this document says. This document has all the information. That you, I'll post the link for both here. But basically, what you need to do is you download the folder, the zip folder from this and get an extra, extract the file to your desktop or something. And then basically, I just moved it into my C drive to my program files. Then you have to go down and find the Oculus folder. So what you do first, before you do anything else, you'll see it says, mine's already changed, so I'm not going to do it, but I'll show you what you need to do. Uh, you just There's one folder called support. This two support doesn't exist in yours at the moment. So what you need to do, I just renamed it. So basically, rename the support folder to two support, just for an example, it just keeps it simple. So just rename that folder. So once you've renamed the support file to to support, you then drag in from, you just extract or drag in the support folder into the Oculus folder. Okay. And that will, you just click OK, and it will give you another folder called support, but you, it's fine because you've got the to support as well. Just leave it. You won't be seeing the staging in TMP because you already deleted the original, original ones if you had any. Sometimes I don't have them for some reason. And then what you need to do is just simply drag the staging and temporary tool here, file, sorry, into the Oculus main folder. And you'll see that it appears like that. And what that does is that reverts back to version 24. So if I open my Oculus app, one important thing that I got confused with was the fact that if I go into the Oculus app, it still says in the settings menu, if you go to general, sorry, general settings, it says Oculus version 26. It actually, that's just, that's just um, artificial. That's not real. It's actually 24, but it just doesn't reset that, that bit of aesthetics there for the file. Line. So actually it is version 24 and it works. And as I'm playing it, I just recorded the Cairo tour and it's completely fixed. So basically, Follow those instructions, use the links below, and thank you very much to um, Michael Opole, 818, for those fixes, because that's brilliant. It's fixed mine perfectly. So that'll stop it from uh, um, update force updating. I hope the explanation helps um, to explain the problem and the fix with the flickering from the version 26 update. Um, I hope that helped you guys out. Let me know in the comments if you need any other direction. And thanks again uh, for everyone for watching. Take care and see you soon.